this bell direct our hearts toward you. May it awaken our souls from spiritual sleep. May it prompt us to come gladly to this house of worship. May it ready us to hear your word. And may it announce the victory of life over death. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Although the bell is new to Riverview, it's actually an antique. It used to ring out over Surrey in Albert County. It was uh, in the St. Aloysius Church that was built here for the miners uh, that came to the Albert uh, mines to mine Albertite. And uh, all the time that they were here, as long as they were working, as long as there was Albertite, they had their church. This is where it started. This is where the church bell came from. All that remains of St. Aloysius is the cemetery and part of the original church foundation. don't have any uh, formal agenda tonight. There's just some loose ends that I felt in love and I felt we should tie, tie together. And uh, Getting a bell for Immaculate Heart of Mary Church was the dream of the late Vance Toner. A few years ago when Archbishop Dan Bowen, who was then Father Bowen, our parish priest, had uh, encouraged Vance and Bob Betts to look into the feasibility of having a bell installed in our new Immaculate Heart of Mary church. When it's all complete, it will be through the generosity of many of our, yours and my fellow parishioners, as well as uh, a number of people from outside the parish who uh, whose lives had been touched by Vance Toner. the steel trusses up there. We are going to be fabricating a mount for the bell that is going to match up with those trusses. So it, it'll look the same as what's on there now and then that'll house the, uh, the bell mount. Well, we're making a frame to uh, support it on, right? I'd like to make it all in one piece but just too much, just too heavy. You can't get it in place so we have to try to uh, make it in several sections, right? See, this is a little different than most, you know, a lot of stuff we do, eh? The hanging, the, the, the uh, rigging for the bell itself, you know, it, uh, trying to get the, trying to get the thing square, you know, so everything is, is plumb. That's the, that's the big thing with it. Oh, if we're going to have a special bell for our church, which is a special antique, historical bell from Albert County, uh, then instead of just getting an old nylon rope or a, a motor or mechanism to uh, ring it, why not make our own rope? When I heard that the Albert County Museum had an antique rope making machine here, I thought it was ideal, and then we can make a day of it making this 75 foot rope. It's I've never been involved in anything like this before. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Just imagine it's going to be in our church, as long as I'm not swinging on the other end of it. <laughs> it's very interesting, and it's. Um, the equipment is a lot simpler than I imagined it would be. 